Well, I'm about five days now from um, heading to the Grand Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I'll be camping in the mountains while I'm at the Grand Rod Run, taking a lot of pictures of uh, looking to buy or broker a few of the muscle cars there, and I thought I'd take a little updated tour of my $500 uh, van that I'll be staying in while I'm in uh, Pigeon Forge. So uh, uh, we'll start here with my 12-volt uh, refrigerator. Uh, it operates, of course, like I said, off 12 volts, and it keeps the uh, items in it 40 degrees below whatever the temperature is outside. So it does a pretty good job of cooling it, and therefore don't have to have ice, and it runs off of the power from the, the van here. Uh, next to it, I have a little table here, and that's what I use to um, uh, cook on and and play with my laptops or whatever on that little fold-up table, use it. And down below it, if you can see it, I have a Wave 3 heater that I'm using. Uh, it runs off the of propane that I've got hooked up in the back. Um, so we do that. Now this van, I picked it up, like I said, for 500 bucks, And it's got a ton of storage in it. Uh, and I love that. Very comfortable as far as driving. I haven't had to do a thing to it mechanically, uh, so I was lucky in that respect. We step up in the van here. You can see that I've got a little paper towel holder, uh, storage here. Uh, I store extra clothes up in it uh, here uh, as well, so uh, that's for my shorts, and then I have storage over here. And then I have this open storage area where I keep my um, coffee pot and things. I use butane most of the time. Uh, and then over on this side, I've got my storage here where I store my T-shirts and things of that nature. Um, and then, of course, I've got my uh, garbage disposal here in between the two front seats. Um I just love this thing, and I also have this little table that I mount to the uh, front here. I set my coffee, my butane uh, stove on that uh, in the mornings when I'm out enjoying a view and I start my coffee. I've got curtains here that separate the back, and here uh, it opens up into a, a full uh, bed. Uh, I don't particularly care for memory foam, so I installed a full 8-inch uh, pillow top mattress in here, and it's extremely comfortable. Uh, so I love the comfort and the coziness that this van has. Uh, we go up here, we've got my um, uh, entertainment system here, and it's a Pile Audio, runs off of, uh, I have a Roku uh, attached to it so I can stream uh, my movies to it. Uh, I, I like this entertainment center a whole lot. Uh, it, it's just very comfortable in here at night. Uh, kick back with the curtains drawn and uh, watching a movie. Uh, I have huge windows. I love um, the windows that it has on it. Um, and of course, uh, the blinds let down uh, throughout the van, blocking out any uh, distractions at night when I don't want to be bothered. I just put my blinds up and I stay here. Uh, and, and for me, it's just great. I don't enjoy uh, motel rooms very much. And, and this van has already paid for itself many times over in the traveling and the... Uh, uh, things that I've already done in it. So I'm just, uh, I've got another conversion van that I'm working on. Uh, there's just something I like to do. And I really like to outfit these things out. Uh, I can pull up into a Walmart parking lot. I particularly like to spend the night. Sometimes uh, I'm a member at Anytime Fitness. So a lot of times I'll pull up to an Anytime Fitness and actually sleep there. And then, uh, 
get up, work out a little bit in the morning, and uh, um, take my shower there and move on to wherever I'm headed next. So obviously this is getting ready for the rod, rod run, and so I'm excited about that.